بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر the first thing we're going to talk about today is the fact that this is one of the surahs that belongs to a score of surahs that begin with oaths. And you know, the, the rough translation, if I was to say, well, asr, I swear by time. It's a very coarse translation, but still, the point that's coming across is Allah Himself is taking an oath. He's swearing by something. What's the benefit of Allah Azza wa Jalla swearing? There are a few. One of them is to acknowledge the grandeur, the magnificent nature of something. Whatever Allah swears by is something profound and magnificent. Something that demands reflection. In other words, Allah is calling the human being's attention to reflect on the passage of time. That's one meaning. The second, in this surah there's also the object of the oath, wal-asr. What's the object? Al-asr. What's the subject? Inna al-insana lafi khus. Allah says He swears by time, or by the passage of time, and then he declares that all human beings are immersed in a state of loss. So there's the object being time, and the subject being the loss of the human being. When this happens, typically in the Qur'an and also in ancient Arabic rhetoric, the object is actually a proof of the subject. In other words, if you say human beings are in loss, and somebody says, what's your proof? What is the one thing human beings are losing all the time? Time. <laughs> Right? Where this is an asset we can never keep. We can never hold on to this hour, this minute, this second. It is leaving us and it will continue to leave us. It is not something you can store and use later on. Another way it's Al Asr is understood is Asr is also it refers to the, the life of nations. Right? So when Allah uses the word Asr, it doesn't just refer to the passage of a time of a day, necessarily only or the life of one person, but the life of an entire nation. And these rises and falls of nations themselves are proof that human beings are in loss. Then you go further and we find that the oath, that the object of the oath is a, is a witness for the subject of the oath. This is different now. We said two things. The object is a proof of the subject. That's one thing. The second is the object is a witness for the subject. In other words, how we understand that now in Surah Al-Asr is Allah is bringing time as a witness to something. What's the, what, is, what is time supposed to witness? That no doubt human beings are immersed in loss. What does that mean? You and I, we, you know, and humanity at large, they run after things. We run after things that, that are actually distractions from our real purpose in life. Al-Hakum At-Takathur It deluded you. The, the want of more. The mutually shared urge to get more and more. It, it distracted you from your real purpose. Now, are we the first people to run after wealth? Or to run after a house? Or to run after getting married to a beautiful woman? Or this or that? Whatever it may be. Are we the first to run after these things? Or were there people before that ran after these things too? They were. And people ran after them thinking that they are going to have success. When they get them, they will have success. And time, Allah made time a witness that people came and they ran after these things and they failed. And then other people came and they ran after these things and they failed again. And other people came and did the same thing again. Thousands upon thousands of years, hundreds upon hundreds of generations, one after another, the same drama over and over again. And one creation of Allah has been watching it happen. It's witness to this thing over and over again. It's almost as though when it sees our struggles, it says, here we go again. Here's another one. So in other words, time is a witness to the tragedy of human life. The tragedy of the human's aspira- human being's aspirations headed in the wrong direction. So time is being brought as a witness against us. Or a witness to the tragedy of the human being. One of the meanings of asr is time that is running out. Or the last ebb of time, the last portion of time. Even salat al-asr is the last part of the day. Right? When time is running out. And classically speaking, Asr was the time in ancient society, especially in Arab society, when the merchant 
and the traveler, they're always in a hurry. Because you know when it's nightfall, there's, gonna be, there's a lot of danger and they can't protect their assets and things like that. So the most hustle and bustle happens when? At Asr time. That's the busiest, most urgent time. In other words, the, the next lesson we're learning here in this surah as we go on is, whatever Allah has to say, the time for you and me to react is not a lot of time. We need to act quickly because the, the dawn of our life has set upon us. That's being captured in just the words, Al-Asr. So the, this last uh, uh, benefit of this oath is a sense of urgency.